What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the farm and today uh, first I've got to take this guy back home. Oh, I gotta go all the way around. Oh wait, no I don't. I just have to go up and over the bridge. It is finally done. I've got the rest of the cement over here. I delivered the rest of the boards and boom! It finished. Much, much easier and faster instead of having to go all the way around. Oh, that's so awesome. So now I'm thinking I've got to start ready, f getting ready for my next expansion. Uh, another phase going on here. It's time to start doing, well, multiple things I can do here, but I really want to focus on one. So I can go ahead and start dropping off supplies here to, say, Frito-Lay, for instance. Or I can start doing animals, and I'm sure some people would love to see me do animals. I've honestly never done animals. I came out wrong. Uh, <laughs> I have never, you know, done anything having to do with animals in the game here. And so, I mean, that's going to be a whole new learning experience for me, let alone on this map. Uh, so, I mean more of a headache than it might be? I don't know. Um, the other idea is to start expanding the farms. I do have two, three other farms here to to use at my disposal. Not just the South Farm, so uh, there is that option as well. And it's definitely something I am for sure going to have to do at some point. Mainly because, although, yes, I can grow whatever crops I want to grow at the south farm, I can't store any of it there. Let me see how much, I don't know how much cement I have here. Ooh, I've got plenty. 160,000. So, I might just go ahead and fill this up. But, as you can see, let me bring up, I don't know if it'll show up well on this map, okay. Let's see, farm there, and the farm's over here. I think the other farm is up around here, I think. And there's one more farm. You know what? I don't remember where the east farm is. Or this might be the east farm, then there's a north farm, and I don't remember exactly where it's at, but it's gotta be somewhere around here, I think. But, um, you know, they, they handle certain crops. Which I will bring up holding the, by putting down the slash key. So, let's see. South Farm, okay. Wheat, barley, canola, corn, which I'm full on. I can buy more storage if I want. Sorghum, millet. Actually, I just planted some as well. Uh, sunflower, I did not know I can grow sunflower there, so I might do a field of sunflower. And then the rest is basic stuff that you'll have everywhere else. Fuel, seeds, lime, fertilizer, and sugarcane. Sugarcane, I have. I don't think that's everywhere else. But as you can see, I'm full on that one. West Farm. Carrots, lime, potatoes, onions, sugar beet. So those are all the ones I can do there. I think those are the root crops. And then the East Farm. Sugarcane, sunflowers, corn, rye, coffee, hemp, oat, and cotton. So, wheat, barley, sugarcane, rye, hemp, oat, cotton. So that's a bait, almost the same as the East Farm. So the question is, is do I want to focus on something that uh, maybe both farms, all three farms can share in? Sugarcane is definitely one of those. Looks like corn as well. Um, don't see sorghum on these other two. Oh, there's sorghum there and but it's not the north so i mean as you can see i mean as you saw i'm full on corn full on sugarcane and right now i'm currently planting sorghum so i could be full on that one as well in fact i'm probably going to end up emptying this out to 296,000 and taking it over the shell because shell's already got quite a bit of corn and, and sugarcane but anyway you know, I, I'm going to have to decide what area do I want to focus in or do I want to try to spread the wealth and do a little bit on all of them, um, which is going to be a pricey endeavor when it comes to buying equipment to stage here at all these farms. So the other option is building another factory. Uh, I've already dropped off stone, as you guys have seen, at Frito-Lay. 
So I could go, let's see, what is Frito-Lay going to want to have here? There it is. Potatoes, canola, salt, coal, and pallets. And then here's the other one. Coal, sour cream, which is going to have to, and cheese. Sour cream, salt, onion. So, that's a little, well, that's... That's a little bit of the West Farm, really, I could probably... But then again, the cheese and the sour cream is going to have to come from cows, which means I have to start messing with the animals to get the cows going, to get milks, to take it over to Borden's. And you see what happens here? You get the whole domino effect when you want to start getting into other things. Can I just get away with doing this one? Yes, potatoes, canola, salt, coal, and pallets. I can do all that right now for classic chips. Not a big deal. But... You got the other two production lines. So, you know, and hopefully you guys can kind of get the idea of what the domino effect is going to be be here when you start getting into some of these other places. Uh, textile, hemp, wool, pot. You know, so pallets are pretty much used everywhere, so that's always a possibility. Dairy cows, that's what I'm going to have to get into to make the cheese. So, yeah, anyway, you guys get a good idea of what I'm talking about here. Um, but first, what I should do is come over here. I need to start replanting. What? Where is it at? Oh, there it is. Yay. I'm sure there's another one around here somewhere. Um, let's see. I need to start... No, I didn't want to get in there. Get out. There we go. I think. There we go. I need to buy more slappings. Slaplings. <laughs> Saplings. And because although there's still plenty of forest left, these things don't grow as fast as crops. It takes a while. So you kind of want to start thinking about replanting as soon as you clear out well, before you clear out as much as I have cleared out, because, like I said, it is going to take a, a, a little bit of time for these to grow. And depending on how hard you're going to hit logging, you could run out before you've got mature trees. I mean, yeah, you can cut them down premature, but you're kind of wasting your time and your money because your return isn't going to be nowhere near what it would be if these things were mature. So I'm going to start off with 10. One, two, oh, Let's try this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see how much fits on this truck. Whoa! We're bouncing all over the place. And I'm going to change this from wood pallet to saplings. Turn on work position, so that means they should be picked up automatically. Oh yeah, I can fit more on here. Four more? Yeah. Four more. Did it pick them up automatically? Yep, I can do two more too. That's cool. So now that I've got a full, almost full truck. Is it too far up for it to pick up? Nope, I guess I can't put them on. Okay, so that's one, two, three, seven, fourteen pallets of saplings. Which is still not going to be enough, unfortunately. It's a good start. On top of the four I've already got there. It's a good start. But, in the long, I mean... I will plant all these in no time. But I'll go back and get more later. Now I've had some help here recently. I opened up the server, I opened up this map onto a personal server. Had a couple guys come out here from my truck convoy. Uh, Mobius wasn't able to make it, he was still missing a file. 
when Raj came on here for a little while, but then he had to leave. Wheels came on here and finished off my logging contract that I had, and he made short work of it. And then he also went around and uh, ground down all the tree stumps. So, uh, really helpful in that respect because I was able to focus on the farm, getting stuff planted, and actually it looks like my steger is done with the sorghum, so now I can change the seeds over, and what was I going to plant? Oh, we missed some over here. Oh, well, he might not have gotten over here. Yeah, he probably just didn't get over here. He stayed over there where the ones I planted were. I already forgot what I was going to plant. It's something over there at the south farm, so I'll have to look again. I'm going to leave these over here for now. So, let's see. Button 3, I want to change it to unload there. There we go. All done. Good, good, good. Alright, so what was at the... No. South farm. Sugarcane, seeds... Sunflower, that's what it was. Okay. So let me roll back over here. Did he miss it? Yes, he did. Damn, I hate it when he does that. Doesn't recognize that last little strip there as being something to plant. And I want to be sure I get everything, damn it, so... I still got 50,000 boards on that one. Okay. I was wondering what this truck was doing over here. I'm still fully loaded. Well, do I need it? No, I don't. Stone, gravel, and concrete is what I need for free to load. So, hmm. What do I do? What do I do? I'll leave this one here. I could go sell them, or I could hang on to it. So I'll leave that there for now. But yeah, I opened it up to P2P and let some of the guys join and we're working on doing multiplayer. Uh, we don't know yet if it's going to be a dedicated server or if it's going to be based off of my computer here. Uh, for a couple people it looked like it was going to do okay, for others uh, maybe not, you know, I don't know if it was me or their internet. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. I wanted to give everyone running on mine a try first, but the only downside is is that it's not going to always be up. I can't, you know, I'm not going to leave my computer up all the all the time. So progress could be a little slower than what it would be if uh, if it was on a dedicated server, because the server is going to stay up. 24-7 unless there's issues or I don't pay. Well, good thing is I've only got 2,600 on the seed left, so it shouldn't take too long to offload this. There we go. Now, also, that reminds me what I was going to do. Right over here, where I just got done planting, there's a field over here I'm going to try to buy, and then I'm going to plow right between them. So, let me get back over this one, jump up here to the buggy. Always nice to leave a cheap vehicle a key spot, so you can just kind of quick warp right up to them. Oh, I, alright, I still have the request in. Good, good, good. And, oh! Field 12 has opened up to me again, same for field 4. So, let me put that one in. And for these smaller fields, see, I've already got, oh, there we go. Where is it? This one's nice, but it doesn't fertilize as it works. And there's no nothing I can do to hook up to it. And so is this one. This one's nice for those little fields that I have on either side of my south farm. Perfect for little fields. Still, I can't fertilize it. So the one idea I have 
is to pick up this guy, a road gator. Now, I do have the idea of buying this Terra Gator. I don't like the price. I should have actually changed that. And actually, I've thought about taking it out. There it is, a road gator. Now, I, I also haven't tried this one yet, so I don't know how well it's going to do. But it takes regular fertilizer, and it just spreads it all out the back. So it's not really a sprayer. It's actually just a spreader. So that's another idea of what I can do here. It just takes regular fertilizer. But still, I kind of wish I had the ability to tow something behind the cedars, and I don't. So the other option I have here is to buy a 14 meter one. And then that way I can have one just like the big one, the 20, 22 and a half. I can have this little one for the smaller fields. It's just as long as a freaking freight train. That's the only downside with that thing. But having a smaller cedar for these bigger fields is definitely nice. So that's the dilemma I have right now. Do I want to pick up a Rogator or a John Deere sprayer? A sprayer will make short work of it, that's for sure. Takes regular fertilizer. This thing extends out the arms so freaking far. It's probably be three passes and those small fields are done. So that's one idea I have because I really want to do something that's going to cut down on a time for those small fields okay so let's see I want to do drop down menu would be so easy for this sunflower there we go refill <laughs> the wheels are suddenly turning <laughs> Look at this mess, too, I made. I was in such a hurry to log off last night after everything that left all my toys laying around. Ugh. That is so not cool. So I'll put these away real quick. There's the uh, off road conveyor belt. I think I showed you guys that in the last one. And what I do with these grain hoppers. Now I have. I have a second uh, combine here just for the fact that these fields are getting huge. Now, the downside with this wheels version of the 9230 is you put a header on here and it gets really front heavy. So, you know, you're really likely to spin the thing around going around a corner if you've got a header on it so that's one thing to be careful of I haven't really noticed that with the tracks the tracked version so you know maybe the tracks actually help distribute the weight a little bit or handle the weight a little better I don't know It is a different combine though, as you can see the colors are a little different, but also this one just really picked up and took off. And the turning is different as well, so they are different mods, they're not the same, because this version here in the 9240 also has a wheels version, so... I was thinking about actually downloading and putting in a mod for a car wash too, so you could drop a car wash on your farm somewhere to wash these things off. Right now, you have to go down to the dealership where you pick up everything before you can do anything. Before, you know, that's the only place you can wash these at. Okay, got that taken care of. What else we got going on here? Oh, yeah, you're almost ready, so time to. This is a big field, so this is 
This is gonna be quite a bit of uh, of sunflowers that are gonna be planted here. Hopefully, I'm gonna have enough seed. So, as I was saying earlier, it's time to move on to the next project. It's just what is the next project going to be? Build a factory. Uh, expand the farm to kind of prepare for the factories and you know that's one of those okay well I've got the factory built but I've got nothing to supply it with or I've got all the crops but nowhere to take them so can I do both at the same time yeah I can it's gonna take forever and it's probably where uh, the whole modding aspects or not the modding the whole uh, multiplayer aspect of this is gonna come in but if I'm going to do this and open up the multiplayer, there's a very good possibility that I am just going to start all over with a fresh map for everyone and maybe once or twice a week upload one of my personal one. And then once or twice a week upload a video from the multiplayer server. It won't be long until the multiplayer surpasses me as to where I'm at here in the game. But uh, at least that way, you know, everyone who's following along here doesn't completely get lost and you know I, I, I kinda just don't like quitting stuff midway through I did it with seven days to die ah, he sold it good it was more it was thirty thousand dollars more not enough coins for deal Why do I need freaking coins? See, they said that you don't have to have coins in order to make deals, but it helps. So let's try this again. Waiting for an answer. Tell me now, damn it. Okay, so I don't need to stay in there. I did it with this, but I stopped the seven days to die seven or eight episodes in. And I hate doing that, and I, and I, but I ended up doing it anyway. Um, because I felt at that time that I wasn't going to be able to keep up the pace of what I was doing. And on top of that, it was just going to get pretty repetitive. It was going to be mine, make cement, build. Mine, make cement, build. Farm, whatever. And it gets pretty repetitive. And so without multiplayer action, it was probably going to get really boring for everyone. So I decided to stop that one. I don't plan on stopping this one, but I'm probably going to end up cutting back a little bit. Right now I'm trying to do a video every other day or every other three days, something like that. And so with the multiplayer and now this, it's probably going to go to once a week. So hopefully, you know, you guys will understand. And hell, I mean, if you're following along here, you're probably already to that point. Where, where I will be in here, you know, here shortly. So, I think I have rambled on about this enough. I've got some thinking to do, but first things first, I need to start expanding everything. So hopefully, the next time I come back, I will have done that, and I will be able to start farming other products, and I might just say screw it and start building free to let. Why not, right? I mean... There are a couple others I could do, Sam Adams, what have you, but, uh, or there could be any animals as well, but I think I'm gonna do Frito-Lay and try to get, try to establish some kind of supply to that, to them on their product. Um, try to set up some kind of commerce with it and everything. I haven't really done that before, and I could still do it here with certain products, but, uh, you know, at least this way I'll have the business and it'll be all mine and you know it's sink or swim all on me so that's gonna be it for now guys i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you tune in on the next one as well as with the multiplier too so until then happy farming